Lately, I've found myself talking so much about fruits of the spirit. And oftentimes, it's to people, it sounds like children's church thing, um, children's Sunday school class uh, topic. But as children of God, we need to come to the understanding that the fruits of the spirit are the evidence that shows that you are a new creation that old things have passed away and behold all things have become new the fruits of the spirit are the natural natural outcome natural evidence of the presence of the holy spirit in your life as a christian so when we accept jesus christ as lord and savior he washes away our sins he forgives us he redeems us from the consequences of the things that we did and we are refined we are renewed he puts his spirit inside of us to help us as we journey on in life that spirit produces in us the spirit of god is not static is productive is creative is effective only when we let him he does not force himself he does not lord himself on anybody that is why if someone says i'm a christian and then says no keep bible aside let's settle this matter you are silencing the holy spirit and as often as you keep silencing the holy spirit the fruits will not germinate because the fallow ground must be broken so that the seed that is sown in it can produce. The seed of the word of God can germinate and produce character of the spirit, character of God in us. So are the fruits of the spirit germinating in your life? They are born out of love. Your love for the father. Not just when you raise your hands and you just begin to sing, Oh Lord, I love you. And you begin to say many things that you are, you are not serious about, that you are, you are not sure of. The fruits of the Spirit, they are evidence that you are saved. So even when you say, I've been, Oh, I've been born again for 10 years, for 20 years. But there is no fruit. Please check that salvation again. Check that salvation again. True salvation is born out of true repentance. And that true salvation receives the Holy Spirit that helps to become like Christ. The fruit of the Spirit shows you to be like Christ. So in, in essence, the fruit must be germinating in your life. Must come forth and produce and also the fruit can be contagious it can affect the people around you it speaks to people around you it shows you and god to the people around you stop seeing the fruit of the spirit as children's church topic it is a matter for every child of god of the spirit is your evidence that you belong to the lord if the fruit is not there you are yet to belong so set your life allow the holy spirit to be at work to operate in your life but remember it starts with salvation which is born out of genuine repentance it's not just because, oh God, forgive me, or oh, you got emotional. It has to be genuine. There is someone I see in my church, and every time I see that man, I see, because I, I knew him before he gave his life to Christ. And when I look at him now, he's simple and quiet lately, because there's work going on in his life. There are changes going on in his life and also he has testimonies to share that can be your story also 
the changes in your life can be evident for people to see if you let it only when the holy spirit is allowed liberty to operate in your life so please allow the holy spirit surrender let go of your own plans and your own wills your own style allow the holy spirit and you will see the new creation in you all things will pass away the fruits will germinate god bless you be an example of the believer